This is a HeadGum Original. What is this, a new If I Were You podcast? Well, kind of. These are episodes that we're living behind our Patreon for the last five years, and we figured, why not release some of the best ones onto this feed to reward those of you that never gave up, that never unsubscribed. So please enjoy this classic episode of If I Were You, recorded at our old studio in 2018. Podcast on the web, <laughs> hosted by us. I'm Mickey. This is Tricky. Hey, introducing I'm Stooch. <laughs> what Stooch. was that? Yeah, I thought we were doing a whole thing. You ruined it. I'm Stooch. Stooch? Yeah, Stooch from middle school. Remember, you brought the paintball gun in that one time. <laughs> Never that heard was from him you. again. <laughs> that was you, and you blamed it on a foreign kid. <laughs> You, they found a kill list in your locker. And you're like, that's not mine. That's stooches. remember when I spread that rumor about you having the kill list? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that I've never seen humor? you actually uh, so mad at me before. No, I got mad at, at you. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't what? college. It wasn't that was at a, a place of work that I spread a rumor that you had a kill list. Yeah. <laughs> and I was also really oh, mad. Oh, that time. In 2003. The other time I got really mad at you was when you took a photo of me on the toilet. Yes. And you wouldn't delete it. No. And then you made me. Delete it, but not before I emailed it to myself. You did not. You did not email. It I to did yourself. email it What's to that? myself. Pull, see if you can pull it up. But I think it's an old email that yeah, I no that's longer right. have access that's to. Right. That's right. That's right. It's a cute photo, though. I've seen it. Wait, you took a picture like, with a digital camera? You know, one of those? No, no, like a phone. Y- yeah. So this was yeah. in the iPhone era. Early iPhone. Right. I think it was two thousand. Must have been two thousand eight. Yes, because it was at our apartment. Yeah, great place. And you guys live together. Do you barge in photo or? You were like sneaking through yeah, the no, door. Yeah, no, it's a barge photo. A barge in photo. And you were like taking a shit, so your pants were down, trying to cover your dick. Yeah. Naked, yes. ostensibly. Pants, pants, pants around the ankles. I thought it was funny. Maybe I was laughing. They call that the stooch snap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The stooch stooch snap. does a lot of illegal things. Stooch seems. is a bad guy. Yeah. Stooch is, is a bad person. Stooch is Dave. <laughs> <laughs> My alter ego, Dave. I guess we should actually introduce you. Jeff Rosenberg is here. Yes. Uh, old friend of ours. Older friend of Jake's. Mm. Ancient friend to me. When did you guys meet? What age? I think we were 13 or 14. I remember where we met. We met at the Orange County Fair. Was it Orange? Whoa. We met at a fair. Really? In yeah. Orange Wouldn't... County? Or the New Jersey Orange County? No, Connecticut. The township of Orange. <laughs> Orange <laughs> County? No. Or maybe... Waterbury oh, we did. Fair? Some, some... No, I did go to the Orange Fair one year, but I think that was when I could drive. And I met you just before your bar mitzvah. So right. I think I was 14 and you were 13. But that were you was invited like... to their B'nai mitzvah? Their fir- the first thing he said to me was that I couldn't come to his bar mitzvah. <laughs> before you'd even met him, you said, I don't know who you are, bro, but you're not getting it. Like, this is Jeff. Like, you can't come to my bar mitzvah. Like, the invitations already went out. So no ma- I think it was like some sort of like no matter what like if we become friends you can't come. Yeah. So don't get. Ooh. Wow. Who is it? It's my mom. Of course. I um. I'll pick it up. Oh, now. Well. <laughs> you have to pick it up for now. master tier it's her people. Birthday, I'm gonna though, isn't pick it? up the phone later. Well, yeah. it, it's, it's her birthday. Entire... All she wants is to talk to her son just once because you haven't talked to her in. I'm recording a podcast, mom. What do you want? <laughs> You're so fucking annoying. Okay, yeah, I'll get fucking LASIK. Relax. <laughs> is she pressuring you? Yeah, she thinks I'm a fucking dweeb unless I work out and get no glasses. Your mom sounds awesome. She is really cool, and she's pretty strong. So she's she can bullying kick you. my ass. She's, your mom is a bully. Yeah, she's a bully. She's a troll. Interesting. She's an angry, angry woman. Sounds like Stooch. <laughs> yeah, Stooch. Stooch was an angry woman, right? Yeah, it's a re- that's Ruth, actually. <laughs> yeah. Ruth, Ruth and an, Stooch. Ruth and Stooch. Stooch Bader Ginsburg, Ruth's <laughs> oldest son. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're here to answer it's like some Chet questions. Hayes. 
<laughs> Chet Hayes, Tom Hanks' is like rapper son. Yeah. So Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, very sweet, successful actors, <laughs> right. had two kids. One became a sweet, successful actor. Oh, yeah, one Chet. is Colin, wants to do like a documentary <laughs> yeah. about the end of a record, his favorite record yeah. store. The and other the is other Chet, Chet Hayes. Hayes. <laughs> sort of an Instagram rapper. <laughs> I guess you can go one of two ways. <laughs> I mean, one of they, two Hayes. Nice. Very good. Very one good. of Chet Hayes. <laughs> you can either go with the crowd or against the grain. I guess if my parents were rich, successful, and I had all the cash in the world, I would probably just rap too. Right. I wouldn't have to be nice to people or learn how to act. Mm. I would just be like, they've already done that. My I'll parents your paved the way now. for me to be a rapper. <laughs> yeah. He's actually really good. It's just his name is so bad, nobody respects him. Yeah. His, one of his songs was like really fucking tight. Yeah. yeah. It's like really, really Popo Zao? Tight. Popo Zao. Yeah. <laughs> God, all the people that didn't deserve to be musicians are so funny. <laughs> like Kevin Federline and yeah, Chet Kevin Hayes. Yeah, Kevin Federline and Chet Hayes. There's got to be more. Oh, Rebecca Black, the Friday girl. Becky Black. Yeah. She's a congresswoman now. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, actually. She ran in a super red district, one of the <laughs> platform of hate. <laughs> of haze. <laughs> haze Valley. All right, let's try to answer some questions. Fine. Here. We only have so much time. Yes. Uh, Jeff, do you have a fake guy's name to refer to this person? Uh, Looch. Looch. Right. Looch. Bros, I recently went over to my girl's house to help decorate because her sister was coming home from college for the first time. The entire family was there. Aunts, grandparents, cousins, neighbors. I went upstairs when I heard the door open and everyone started to celebrate. I started to nervously rehearse my greeting. I got to the top of the stairs when I saw the mom and her sister were at the bottom. The mom said, This is Travis, who I've told you so much about. I was awkwardly deciding in my mind if I should say hi from the top of the stairs or go all the way down before saying hello. I quickly tripped and fell hard <laughs> down the stairs. A good three to four tumbles before landing with a thud that could be heard for miles. For the next two hours, I was on ice while the entire family was assuring that I was okay, but obviously laughing about the fall behind my back. I was humiliated, but I understand how funny the situation is. My question is, should I consistently joke about the situation to help make it less awkward from now on, never mention it again, or break up with my GF and get as far removed from this family as possible? Mm. I wouldn't be worried. The GF's going to break up with you, (laughs) obviously. You have no balance. (laughs) One fall says it all. (laughs) You stumbled... Keep falling out of my house. Keep falling out of my life. They should, yeah, they should have just opened the door at the bottom of the stairs. You tumble out into the lawn. They slam the door behind you. The new boyfriend steps over him. <laughs> Hi, yeah. perfect, perfectly composed. <laughs> he does the Willy Wonka. Stumble, stumble, stumble. Flip. Grand reveal. Standing ovation. Ta-da. Leans the mom over and kisses her on the mouth. Wow. At this point, like... He's he's fallen. It's at least been a week, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's uh, no. He's writing this email awkwardly, like from the couch. Dude, he's dude, got an ice pack on his head right now, talking. <laughs> I'm sitting on frozen peas, and I swear to God, I heard the great uncle go, and then he fell, and my her aunt was cracking up so <laughs> the hard. The neighbor keeps snickering at me. Uh, have you ever embarrassed yourself in front of your sig? No. Your sig nose family. family, though. Yeah, plus family. He, me, uh, yeah, most likely. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I can answer that. Of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff was a constant embarrassment. <laughs> he was drunk and high through many family vacations. Mm. Do you remember when you you uh, tried to wrestle Micah and you pulled your back? <laughs> right. I, I bring that up to Micah a fair amount because yeah. I think. That's I actually wasn't pretty much there. a decade ago at yeah. this point. And that was a funeral. And Micah, <laughs> before he got, you know, jacked, he, correct me if I'm wrong, he was thick. Oh, yeah. There was uh, there was a time before high school that he was, like, thicker. Right. And that you had the sectional couch. We were wrestling around as boys are mm-hmm. wont to do because he was looking for this out of his older brother. His older brother was, you know, doing stuff, hanging out with you know, certain types of people that yes i was living a rich decadent life i was sort of like a gatsby and jeff was more of a 
I don't know. Would you say any other characters in Gatsby? But... <laughs> a, a pedophile that wanted to wrestle my 11 year old brother? No, he may have been at, at the very least 12 at the time. Right. So we're wrestling. I would say he was definitely 12 of, at the I'm time. I'm kind of nurturing him, trying to be that older brother figure, that father figure that he's been looking for. <laughs> by all you, of his the father life. figure he wanted by wrestling him? So you were 14. <laughs> so I, his legs are wrapped around my shoulders at this point in a power bomb position, right? <laughs> And I, I scooch him in, uh, his navel towards mine. This is all part of the wrestling <laughs> move, <navel>. though. <laughs> right. It's a so navel you, to nipple grapple. So you, right now, you are trying to be my brother's father figure by, I guess he has his legs over your shoulders and you scooch him in yeah, towards your Yeah, scooch him in, pelvis. but that's part of the move. And then you lift him up. And as I'm lifting him up to power bomb him, you know what the power bomb is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Everyone was sitting shiva. Just a, <laughs> a pop in my back. Yeah, what happened there? Uh, I a think slip I po- disc. <laughs> no, I think it just like separated the lower vertebrae. Mm-hmm. Jesus, and it it really it acts up every now and then. And I you like blame that. Micah for being a fat twelve year old. I can't because you started the story up. by saying uh, <laughs> that he he was thick. There was a time before he was fit that he was thick. Right. I'm just so saying he was he, he was, was heavy. heavier than what I expected. Mm. But I didn't say fat. <laughs> He not. was a You're thick putting... pre-tween, <laughs> and I hurt myself throwing him. And Jake wasn't around, so I had to power bomb the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but would you say I embarrassed myself in front of your family? No. no the yeah, family, the family say... loved you. Uh, yeah, I don't. Th- I think there's coming back from this. It was an honest mistake. It's not like he was mean or offensive in some way. Mm-hmm. But you don't if know anything, that. now he's the guy who fell down, and he's you know kind of a silly mascot for the family. I think then he has to continue to like play that up, though. Right. He has to like. It depends how you laugh at yourself. If it's like an uncomfortable laugh at yourself, or you're really digging into yourself in a se- yeah, self deprecating way. Because sometimes if you like won't let something go, even if you seem to have a good right. nature about it, like it looks painful. Yeah, don't hand it face. to me. I might trip and fall down the stairs. Huh? <laughs> like, hey, you can't let it go. You know, like it's, it's, been all, four it's clearly years. weighing on you. I think you have to have a good sense of humor about it. Like, you have to be able to laugh about it every time they bring it up. I think the issue was he wanted to s- steal the the limelight in the first place by like having this grand entrance from the top of the right. stairs where he like greets his girlfriend's <laughs> sister it's like, like yeah, where do you get off in the first place like you're not the entrance like she's home from college that is you're an after I didn't even think about that that is like, strange like everybody of, is like saying hello and then you <laughs> come down with some sort of like up <laughs> he wanted to <laughs> debut this is, this is strange. Yeah. he came downstairs in grand her, reveal in the sister's old prom dress <laughs> and a music cue <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing gloves from a cotillion. Here comes the luge. Here comes the luge. Oh, <laughs> Just high heel oh. snaps. <laughs> I like the idea of him like really leaning into it though. Like every single time you enter a, you enter somewhere, there's yeah. like some sort of like crazy slapstick moment. Right. He does you a like, crap fall at, all the time. Right. Now. You pull up to pick somebody up, you like jerry rig your airbag to go off in your face. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like you <laughs> yeah, you you greet the dad for the first time. Your pants fall to your ankles. Right. Or not. It should you escalate. It just should escalate to where he hurts himself more every time until the family <laughs> just starts actually feeling bad for him. Right. Just falling down the stairs is like no joke. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like you fell down. graduation like party. You you fell off the roof. It seems like I don't know if he flipped or like fell on his ass and slid a little bit. <laughs> Oh. All, I don't know what's funnier. It's like, <laughs> like if you, it sounds Catching like you didn't yourself. get to hang out to the railing, because like oh, <laughs> that was close. I'm not used to stairs. Lovely house. Next Thanksgiving, you have to cut off your thumb when your thumb when you're carving the turkey. Oops. <laughs> yuck! 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 Oh. I think you don't bring it up ever again. Right, but like <laughs> at some point honesty. when you've like cemented yourself as a family staple, like right now it's also a little. Te- it's like joking about you about you is like a little bit of like, uh, it, it's it's what's tepid, tentative. What's the word? I don't know. Either tertiary. Way. It's a fresh wound. Yeah, it's tertiary to be sure. Yeah, I don't know what tertiary means, but it's definitely it's, that. It's quite tertiary. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you you have to like test the waters. You you're not like so much a part of the family that you you can be made fun of. Right. Yeah. If anything but silver lining, it brings you closer to the family yeah. because now 
they feel comfortable. That's they should nice. be comfortable making fun mm-hmm. of you to your your you know. Oh, that's good. I also just remember that Jill fell down one of the first times that she met my mom. What happened? She slipped on the stairs. <laughs> Downstairs. She didn't it was like it was the bottom of the stairs. She slipped on like the last stair and, and landed like, on her butt and basically like went and like sat on the landing just like whoop sat sitting on the landing but she had met she had met my mom already but it was like one of the first times that jill had like come home to connecticut to like spend the weekend with people right um and it was it, it was really funny but we've never talked about it since so maybe like, it is forgettable it, definitely but i think it's probably different if jill like took a full tumble down the stairs or what if he like passes it off like he leans over to the dad? He's like, you know, I did that on purpose. Right? <laughs> Excuse tooth, me. Tooth falls out. <laughs> the, the fall. That's uh, that's a thing I do. I think he's got to find the sister, a boyfriend, and then pay him off to do something even worse. Oh. Not even worse, just like more recent. I found the kill out. list. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you think I fell down? Or not? Well, I fell on some really harsh evidence here. He doesn't even have to pay him off. He can just yeah, he can just do that. Yeah, he can catch someone red-handed in a red <laughs> lie. Digging yeah. himself into a deeper hole. And then when he's like, that's your handwriting. Yeah. Is it? You can you can make this other guy the biggest klutz doofus of all. <laughs> yeah. Make him the scapegoat. Yeah, or just come and show up at the next family thing with a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> Who finds it funny that I fell? Are you laughing now? <laughs> Not at all. But we now think we thought you were the funny. Gun jam backfired. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a problem with me? <laughs> the kickback. Fucking clocks his nose. Oh, oh shit! Oh, gun shit. lands goes off. With shit! A salt spray gun. Let's forget He's this gonna, ever happened. Comes down the stairs with the gun and falls. <laughs> I'm okay. I bet you think I'm so. This <laughs> is Who's laughing now? Okay. <laughs> Choking on his own blood. <laughs> I'd love to ask your oh, daughter's I can, hand. And I can act it. I can act it. I mean, I'm going to make it, right? I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it, all right? I'm, I'm cold. I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Oh, uh, That's rich. That's one way to do it. Yes. Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this episode of our show, I take AG1 right at the beginning of the morning because I don't like taking a pill. I don't prefer that way of consuming a multivitamin. I'd much rather put that sweet, sweet AG1 powder into my water, shake it up, and consume it knowing that it tastes good. And in addition to the taste, I'm also getting 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients of the highest quality that give you major benefits from mood support, energy, healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. Those are my big three. Everyone knows that I have really good skin, really good hair, and very good nails. Uh, And I attribute a lot of that to AG1, actually. Um, So if you're looking to uh, get more supplements in you and an easier way to take those supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. You just got to go to athleticgreens.com slash if I were you. That's athleticgreens.com dot com slash if I were you, you put the scoop of powder into the water, you drink it, it tastes great, and you're getting everything you need for a nice, healthy start to your day. Easiest way to get that done and the easiest, uh, best way to support the show. You can do that both by going to athleticgreens.com slash if I were you. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash if I were you. Thanks, Athletic Greens. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode of our show. Ah, therapy. What greater way Um, for navigating life's stressful, anxiety-inducing situations than by talking to a professional licensed therapist. And there's no better way to talk to one of those therapists than by using BetterHelp. In fact, BetterHelp is entirely online, so you don't have to drive anywhere or wait into any awkward waiting room or uh, be in the same room as someone. You can talk to your professionally licensed therapist entirely online. So it's, you know, convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire, you get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. It's so simple. It's so easy. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try because it's also incredibly affordable. I've tried therapy. It is indeed very helpful talking to a non-biased third party about everything that's ailing you. 
and BetterHelp is the best way to do that. Um, so if you're interested, intrigued about your mental health, because, you know, as you know, uh, as soon as your mental health starts feeling better, you start feeling better. Um, there's no better way, better way to do that than by going to betterhelp.com slash if I were you uh, and taking that questionnaire and getting matched with a therapist and talking to them right away. So again, this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. And all you got to do is go to BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash if I were you to get on your way to being your best self. Thank you, BetterHelp. This podcast is brought to you by Squarespace, one of our day ones. We've been using Squarespace to help us build websites for literally, I think, over 10 years now. We've been ranting and raving about Squarespace because there is indeed no better way to design and build your own website, whether you're creating an online store or a portfolio or uh, uh, giving a gift of a website to a friend or loved one. Squarespace makes it so easy because they have drag and drop technology. They have constant, they're constantly coming out with new products and they even have 24 seven award-winning customer support. Heck, you can even build, uh, you can even buy a domain name through Squarespace. You're probably thinking there's not a lot of good dot coms available. Fortunately, I'm creative, so I've been searching for available dot coms my entire life. Most recently, I can tell you with great certainty that fartyparties.com is available. That's fartyparties.com. Your very own URL. You can buy that through Squarespace. Or I guess your full name.com, or maybe uh, uh, some friend had a child and then it's like, oh, let me squat their domain so that nobody takes it out from underneath them so that when they grow up and they want to create their own URL, I bought it from them and I could sell that to them at a premium because it's been 18 years and sandwiches cost $10,000 now and I want $100 million for that domain name. You can do that all through Squarespace. But if you want an extra deal, an extra discount, some extra juice to squeeze, all you got to do is go to squarespace.com slash if I were you. Um, and that lets you uh, try it for free. And when you're ready to launch, just use that offer code, if I were you, for 10% off. There are already low, low prices. My God, just go to squarespace.com slash if I were you. You try that free trial. When everything's ready to go, just use that offer code, if I were you, to save 10%. Thank you, Squarespace. All right, let's answer another question. This one's from a lady. Yeah. Uh, got a fake girl's name. Uh, Jasmina. Uh, Jasmina. 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 So I matched with a guy on Bumble three months ago. Since then, we've gone on four dates and slept together once. Nice. They've First all gone date. very well. He is funny, easy to talk to, totally my type, and really good in bed. Woo! <laughs> this guy sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is you. You have a girlfriend. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> Maybe you're bragging about your, Whoa, your I'm just Bumble date. You funny. chose this question probably so you could no. sort of uh -huh. shout yourself out. All right, let's really take that. I feel now. like that's also now, now everybody. I'm knows. actually not easy to talk to, so it's obviously not me. True, but, <laughs> but good in bed. I'm prickly. I'm not <laughs> very good in bed, and I'm not very. I'm, I'm not a type. <laughs> okay, so I, I was joking. I claw my way in. Sorry. So I was. I'm an acquired I was, smell. I was joking too, but now you're sort of just like revealing that you. <laughs> I was kidding. You sprained your wrist. <laughs> Hairline fracture. I can see it. You're bad in bed. Uh, she continues. After our four, most most recent fourth date, at the end of which we discussed going on another, I pulled up his Bumble profile to show my friends. I had not looked at it recently since we had moved to texting not long after matching. To my shock, what do you guys think? He's, He's obviously active still on the active. App, updating his profile picture. Ooh, I like the updating because it's... To my shock, yeah, what's the different? way? That... To my shock, he had noted in his bio that he was in an open relationship. <laughs> this information was not in his bio back when we had started taking uh, talking a few months earlier. Mm -hmm. He has never said anything or behaved in any way in person to indicate that this was the case. I ended up not showing it to my friends because it made me extremely humiliated to have been left in the dark like this. So my question is, what the fuck? <laughs> Do I confront him about this information? Isn't being in an open relationship with someone else an important piece of info to share with someone you are seeing? Jake, I love you, but this sounds like some shit you would pull. Ooh. That's true. <laughs> You're taking ownership of something you didn't even do. That's, but can this find sounds like a, a page right out of my handbook. <laughs> um, is this fucked up? I'm wondering if she's the one that he's in the open relationship well, that's what with. I, that's exactly what I was thinking, too. Oh, so like, yeah, I'm in an open relationship now with you. Yeah, like, 
Would I'm that sort a, of would I'm that be like, a relief to her? I oh, wonder. thank God. I think I think she assumes that she is the one that is the relationship and oh, they I think, have the open relationship together. I think she assumes <laughs> that there's another girl yes, that he's in I an thought. open relationship with. It, yeah. He, she's like, You're in an open relationship. I just think it's possible me. that it is what Jeff thinks too. It's so much less likely to say you're in an open relationship after not right. talking. But to like, the what lady. if you're you're you've gone on four dates with somebody and you like where it's going and you're like, I really want to just like, if you're if you're a real weird anal person, you're like, I should update my Bumble profile. <laughs> I've been on four but dates, I'm like, but I'm down to hang out. I'm with not you off as well. the market, but I things are trending that way. I met her uncle and I fell next to him. <laughs> so in case I'm ostracized, I'm still down to go on a first date. I will say this though, it is even if. Say hypothetically, there's no other girl. That's kind of a cool line. Mm. Like, oh, me and this woman have like, we're we're so mature in our like love that we're open about it. Like, oh. it adds a little extra yeah. little crust on there. That's an yeah. interesting move for your bio. I also just thought it'd be really funny if the guy that fell down the stairs was icing his back, <laughs> lying on a couch, working on his new Bumble profile. <laughs> he's that sure that the relationship is over. <laughs> Oh no! I'm gonna I'm gonna call an Uber as soon as I feel <laughs> up to the task, and I'm out of here. And I am single like, now. That much is clear. Sometimes they say like, "Don't move in case you got concussed." <laughs> so just don't let me go to sleep. I don't think I will. He's craning I'm his neck, to work looking at his mobile phone. <laughs> I can't. I, I, can't I don't want to swallow my tongue. Hop 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 hop. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think the whole family's in the hot tub. Outside. This is this is definitely information that she should have had initially, and I think it's Four worth dates, confronting him about sex, it. One sex though, I don't know if she's. I guess it's, if it's four dates over like. That's a month, right? I mean, yeah, going on, fo- going over going on four dates and sleeping with somebody, like one that indicates to me that you take sex seriously. Like right. it's not like I went on one date and fucked him. Right. Like she. She clearly wanted to like build towards this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and is like l- opening herself up and like getting to know this guy a little better. Right. And now it's all been like pulled out from under her. It's all under false yeah, pretenses. Yeah. No, I feel I feel her on that because uh, so for assuming he is in a relationship with someone, right. he was in a relationship when they went on dates and yes, banged. that's what I that's what I. <laughs> so he's unless he's also bad dude. Bad yeah. dude. <laughs> But afraid of confrontation at the very least. Yeah, because he's like, he's not cheating on his current girlfriend because they're in an open relationship, but it's still information you have to disclose. Right. Right. It can't be a secret open relationship, or can it? Well, that's the interesting thing when it comes comes to not cheating. So you think that you're like off the hook. He's like, well, I'm not cheating, so it's good, so it's not bad. Yeah. Well, you're sort of lying to me. Not lying, just not telling you the whole story. Right. But you can still mistreat somebody while being cool to your open relationship. But then you, but then you just like as the new girl, the Bumble girl. Now she's she's an accessory. You know, she's not the the bottom bitch, if you will. That's mm. cool. That's right. a really cool name for me yeah. going forward. Bottom bitch or whatever BB, <laughs> and then like we don't tell BB. people what it stands for. Right, but you are my bottom bitch. Yeah, for but sure. like nobody knows. And that. then Jake still <laughs> podcasts with other people. You still podcast with other people, yeah, but that's you're true. still each other's bottom bitch. Jake's like the pod father, and I'm the bottom bitch. <laughs> That's cool. Two cool Godfather. Nicknames. That's great. Yeah, that is a really cool nickname. We can even switch sometimes. We wouldn't switch. <laughs> we would never switch. We would never switch. Because your nickname is too cool. And it's also so perfectly you. Because it's like super cool or Yeah. That's it's cool. quintessential Blumenfeld. I might even try it at like the DMV or some shit. So I think that's like, cool. Is Amir here? Blumenfeld number forty seven. I'm like that's me, but I go by bottom bitch. <laughs> you could do that as like a as like a vanity plate almost. B T M B I C H. Yeah, bottom bitch. That's cool. So and then like people honk at me and I'm like, yeah. I'm the bottom <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both hands on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Tombstone reads bottom bitch. <laughs> It was an honor. <laughs> Here lies bottom bitch. I feel bad 
saying that word at a funeral in a eulogy, but I guess he would have wanted he really to say it. He really got his that. name changed, so we have to say it. He went to court for this. <laughs> so what do you guys say to the girl who wants I to confront the guy? Do you say Call him out on it. Yeah, definitely call him out. <laughs> What's this? I don't yeah, it doesn't have to be like some sort of like gotcha bumble date. But I right. think you could bring it up and just be like, yeah, hey, no what's one, the deal with this? No one likes getting sandbagged. Yeah. But and then she's got to say, it? but then she's also got to say that she was back on Bumble to like check things out. Unless she says, my friend sent this to me. Yeah. She yeah, but saw like, what, what do you, you want think? I wanted to show, though. I was going to show your profile to my friends. We'd been on four dates. That's, uh, that's normal. I know that I would know as somebody on a dating app that my profile is being shared with a group of friends. Right. Like I'm just how, thinking does that happen to you on Tinder? I remember course, that yeah, like yeah. people That's would like, send me a screenshot a of my profile game. by accident because like, yeah. they were meaning Showing to send to that friend. to other people. But Whoa. do you want to call someone out like that? Is that a is that like a – that seems to me to warrant like a resentful response, like a, like an eye roll. It's like no, I, have to I think you have a conversation you. But you separately ha- not having to do – with the the added line, oh, so you just uh, no, bring it then, up. Are you in an open no, relationship? That, like this is what this is <laughs> kind of yeah. <laughs> but this is why that's dangerous because you could be like, oh, like are you seeing anybody else? And he's like, nope. And then you're like, then you have to be like, well, I know that you are. So that's like, right. I asked you your a line question of question, knowing the answer. Right, your line of questioning like can be construed as dishonest or like. What is that called? Um, double jeopardy or something? Right. Yeah. Or entrapment? Yeah. yeah, you can't find yeah, out the entrapment. same girl twice. Leading the bottom bitchness, <laughs> your honor. Hi, bottom bitch here. Question for the court. <laughs> Wait, are you a lawyer? bottom bitch esquire? No, I'm a juror, and I'm just a little confused about what's <laughs> going on here. Juror nine, bottom bitch. So... On the movies, it's you, all like... Sorry, you were dismissed from the jury. Yes, <laughs> for my racist ideology. <laughs> but I was wondering if I could... Do you guys validate? I wanted to see if I showed up in the court portraits. <laughs> do you have one of the bottom bitch? <laughs> you wearing a pencil skirt? I always wanted a caricature of me. Can the court stenographer read this back? How long did you have to fucking pose like this for the for the sketch artist to get you? <laughs> I'm an OJ juror, and every time I saw the person doing this sketch, I would flash the shocker so that when they would show the picture portraits on TV, like, that was me. Wearing gloves. <laughs> That's the bottom bitch right there. That's good. Um, wow. That's good stuff. Uh, so you say bring it up, show it right off the bat, the bio. Yeah. In a cool way. Bring it up in a cool way. That's cool. Sunglasses, by the way. Check this out. You're in an open relationship. (laughs) 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 Beefcake. (laughs) What up with this? What's up? Yeah, that's good. That's good. What (laughs) up? Hold on. Let me show you the Budweiser Frogs commercial. Oh. Because it doesn't make sense. This is funny. See how there's three? Uh, The one on the left (laughs) is the bottom. The bottom bitch frog. The one on the right is you. Yeah. And then who's this? The throaty one. (laughs) Who's this wise cracker? (laughs) The wise of the bunch. Oh, wise cracker is kind of a cool name for Mm, you. Really? Because you're you're like wise and you will crack it, dude. (laughs) That's cool. Can we say that? That's actually. Yeah. No, that's going to have to get bleeped out. (laughs) (laughs) That's Ched Hayes' next rap name. (laughs) Wise cracker. (laughs) That's Uh, a good album for him. I would bring it up. And you can say that your friend sent you the picture. You don't have to say, I was looking at the bumble. Right. Sure. You can lie about how you but came across But do you chew him it. out? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, I got Michelle. And then what What do you say back to that? Like, uh, oh, why cool. didn't can you I tell me? Why didn't you tell me that? Oh, because, you know, it's bumble. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if he says, if you say, why didn't you tell that me that? And he, and he says, because it's bumble, you could you can end the relationship. <laughs> Because it's Bumble, bitch. (laughs) Wait, where are you going? (laughs) I broke my tailbone. I fractured it. Uh, All right, sweet. That was painless. 30 minutes up, 30 minutes down. One more? It's called ad-free content. Wow. Easy. That's great. Uh, Appreciate you coming by. I do have an ad, though. Oh, what's that? Uh, Neckcorrector.com. Oh, you have a... You have something to promote. 
Yeah, no, I push ads <laughs> now for they're from my you know my Forkchula friends. Yeah, you what? read F- Forkchula? No, uh, Forkchula. You said yeah first. <laughs> what is Forkchula? I wanted to use like, yeah. He was he was trying to like get you. It's, it's, it's a spatula <laughs> that you put on your the, the teens or the tines, if you will, on your fork. Oh. Uh, so you can scoop up that marinara sauce, whatever. It's sort of chocolate sauce you have at the bottom of your dish. Okay. That's mini nice. That's, a, that's actually but really. But they've actually what's it switched. Uh, that's the Forkchula, but they're moving away from that. <laughs> And now they're doing they? the neck, cr- yeah. Ali and his uh, his partner got it. David, Who? I believe. Ali. Who the hell are these people? Uh, they're in Prince Edward Island. They're some buddies that I met through conferences. <laughs> Prince Edward Island is that in Canada? Yeah. I have no further questions, but continue. So they moved on to the neck corrector. Check it out, neck what corrector. Neck corrector? What does that one do? Uh, that that'll help. You know how Your I posture. like hurt my my back. Yeah. Uh, you know it's that it elongates the spine, and you know it just helps you That's lay nice. on it. And it just is a simple way. You so know, you can 10, either buy that or, or not try to suplex a, a tween. <laughs> <laughs> but if you've already <laughs> suplexed a tween. <laughs> well, the neck corrector is not going to work for that. You need more of a hip displacement. I'll talk to Ali back at the shop. Yeah, just focus I'm on forks. I'm sad that they abandoned the forkula. They're trying to sell forkula if you guys are interested in a new venture. Oh, a small forkula that'll cost you for the forkula. Have, have you made a sale on those things yet? Yeah, I've made one. Did you, do you have a prototype? No, they make it. I just push the code. That's neck correct at neckcorrector.com. But is it your concept? <laughs> no, is that not an at email all. Address? So, so they came up with the shit? What? Yeah, they do all the work. I'm just put, I get 50% of the sales. This, I'm so sad that we spent time doing it. Yeah, no, it's, I'm, I'm not happy about it either. Uh, <laughs> you just made my kill list, bud. <laughs> Uh, anything you want to promote besides Neck Corrector? Uh, we're looking to do our 200th episode show live at the gutter. And Whoa. I'm pretty sure this is 99% going to happen, so I can say it. That's cool. Um, so that'll be, I believe, May 16th or 17th in so we'll Brooklyn. we'll try to get this out before 200th app. Yeah. I'll be there. Yes, I'll should be, be fun. Amir, can I uh, count you in? Bottom bitch in it? <laughs> Put bottom bitch on the list and we'll see if you shows up. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Woo! If I were you. was a HeadGum original. 